What is Ethernet? More importantly, if you're studying to understand computer networking and computer networks, how they work, how they function, overall the basics of a computer network, you need to understand the basics of Ethernet. Now, to understand Ethernet, you need to understand some of the basic requirements to have a good functional working network and to have a good design of a com functional working network. So you have to have a network design and for that network design to work and function correctly it has to have these four things. Number one, it has to have a type of media to use or a type of media that it can use or that's defined for it to use. Wires, cables, sometimes infrared and something something is a media or medium that is used to connect multiple devices to make a network with those devices. Number two, you have to have a methodology for sending data and information across that media that all devices on that network agree to use and they all understand. Number three, you have to know how to know, or the devices have to know how to know, what the sending computer or device is and what the receiving computer or device is. And number four, you have to know which computer or device will use that shared cable or medium Next, in other words, whose turn is it? Which device is going to be sending out information out to other devices on that network, and when is that device allowed to do so? Ethernet has become the most standardized, most often used standard or protocol, not really necessarily a protocol, but a methodology that's used on wired networks around the world. And it has, for the most part, displaced or pushed others out of the pool. In the early days of networking, there were all types of other networking technologies being used, and Ethernet was just one of those. However, it's been become so widely adopted now that it's not across the board on every single network, but you will see it in a majority of computer networks existent in the civilized world today. Now, I've often heard Ethernet being referred to as a language, and this is only partially correct. Ethernet is a standardized methodology protocol that kind of defines how multiple devices communicate with each other on a cable network so they can communicate and share data and information. So not only are all using a similar language, but they're also using a similar agreed-upon way of communicating, and that's really what Ethernet is all about. So where did Ethernet start? And how did it become the standardized communication protocol on computer networks? Well, it was originally developed and introduced in 1973 by Xerox Corporation. Xerox used Ethernet as their own proprietary technology until around 1979. And beginning in 1979 and moving into 1980, Xerox began looking for partners to help promote Ethernet as an industry standard. They started working with Intel and Digital Equipment Corporation, or DEC, and published a networking standard known as Digital Intel Xerox, or DIX for short. The DIX standard defined how a bus topology using coaxial cable enabled multiple computers or devices to communicate with each other, and they worked and communicated at a then speed of 10 megabits per second. That was the defined speed. DIX and Ethernet shortly became the networking communication standard and was adopted by the IEEE. The committee within IEEE that adopted the standard was known as the 802 Committee, or the 802 Group, and therefore Ethernet became the 802.3 standard. Ethernet was used primarily on bus topology networks in the early days that used coaxial cable, as you know, bus topology networks were the majority of network topologies used at the time. However, Ethernet flowed over into other types of network media, many of which we still see and are still used today, like UTP or unshielded twisted pair, STP or shielded twisted pair, and fiber optic cables on star topology type connections where a single device like a switch or a bridge connected directly to multiple computers or devices similar to what you see here in this diagram. Be sure to check out another video or post I made talking about different media types to see what UTP, STP, and fiber optic actually look like and more along the details of what those are made up of. And be sure to like this video and comment below if you've seen another form of network standard being used and how it was used. So some of the other things that were defined by the Ethernet standard were things like how devices listen to the network media or medium to see if they are allowed to transmit, and what happens when two or more devices on the same network segment transmit on that same segment at the same time, and you get what's called a collision. Now I'm going to have another video shortly talking more about this, but it is called, this collision standard is called CSMA slash CD, and that stands for Carrier Sense Multiple Access with Collision Detection. CSMA CD is also defined within the Ethernet 
standards. And last, but certainly not least, as it is the actually the most important part of this, is that Ethernet defines how a frame is set up and used. When all devices are using the same standard, you know, Ethernet in most cases, they all use the same frame type and expect that frame type with everything sent over that Ethernet network. Essentially, when all devices on that network are using Ethernet standard cables, UTP, STP, and fiber optic, and they are all using the same frame type or style defined by Ethernet, it can be said you have an Ethernet network. All of these things we just talked about are what make up Ethernet. So that pretty much describes Ethernet as a standard and why we need it and what it is. So if you like this video, if you like have any questions or comments, please feel to leave those comments and questions below and I'll try to get to those as soon as I can. Also make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to let me know that you like this video and you want to see more like it in the future and I will see you in the next video.